Hello everyone. Today I am going to bring you face to face with the oddities, mysteries and paradoxes of nature with this single experiment that contains all the secrets of quantum physics. Do you remember the double slit experiment in any other situation to be encountered in quantum mechanics? This is the same thing, he has become an experiment to be referenced. Now I will tell you about the experiment with a double slit. Ready when you are. The American physicist Richard Feynman, who received the Nobel Prize in 1965, said that the double slit experiment is the most interesting experiment that shows us the side of the quantum world that is contrary to common sense. The history of this famous experiment dates back about 200 years. This was first done by the English physicist Thomas Young in the early 1800s. At that time, it was exactly a century before quantum mechanics was born. Young had intended this experiment as proof of the wave nature of light. Thomas Young used sunlight passing through a pinhole as the only light source. To understand the double slit experiment, let's send three different objects to the slits and observe the results together. Let's set up our setup first. Let there be a gray wall at the very back, and an opaque wall that does not allow light to pass directly in front of it. Let's make two slits in the wall that doesn't let in light. Let's put a weapon behind him, and this weapon will be a weapon that can throw balls, photons and electrons into the crevices. First, let's consider objects of the size with which we are familiar. If we were to throw tiny marbles into these slits, not at the quantum level, but at the dimensions we are familiar with, what kind of pattern would you expect to see on the gray wall on the other side of the slits? I mean, what kind of mark would the marbles make? Two straight lines would form, wouldn't they? Those who passed through one slit would form a single line in the projection of that slit on the wall, and those who passed through the other slit would form a second line in the projection of that other slit on the wall. Indeed, if you do this experiment with balls, this is what you will see. Well, what would happen if we sent waves of water, not marbles, into those crevices now? We are again in the familiar dimension, we have not yet switched to quantum physics. The waves passing through the two slits would interact with each other behind the wall where the slits were. If the top of the two waves coincided, a larger wave would form. If the trough of the two waves coincided on top of each other, a deeper wave would form. If the crest of one wave and the trough of the other wave coincided, it would look as if there was no movement there. Therefore, what we see on our gray wall would be an interference pattern. Where those two hills or two pits met, there would be a brighter trail, and where a hill and a pit met, there would be a dimmer trail. Thus, a pattern was formed that went from dark to light to dark to light. This is what we call interference pattern in physics. Everything that has happened so far can be explained by classical physics. Now let's complicate things a little and move on to quantum physics. Let's start by sending electrons first. Let's keep it simple. Not two slits, but one slit. What do you expect to see on the other wall in this case? It's a single line, isn't it? Just like the marbles we throw in our dimension. Indeed, if you do this experiment with electrons, even if you send electrons one by one, even if you send them in a beam, you will get a single line. In this case, if there are two slits and we throw electrons in a beam, what do you expect to see? One line in one slit, so two lines in two slits, right? No. These electrons form an interference pattern on the other wall as if they were waves. Although they are electrons, they behave like waves. Now you can object, but we sent it as a beam, let's send it one by one, then they will form a definite double line. No, that's not true either. Even if you throw electrons into that double slit not as a beam, but one by one, an interference pattern is formed at the back. It's not a double line. In other words, almost a single electron splits into two before it passes through the full slit, interferes with itself, and thus the electrons create an interference pattern on the wall. 
the electron must only be interfering with itself, because there is nothing else in the middle that it can interfere with, that is, its peaks and peaks, its pits and pits coincide. He also ventures with himself. Unbelievable, isn't it? It completely contradicts our common sense about the real world. Even this observation teaches us a very basic truth about quantum physics. There is a phenomenon called wave-particle duality in quantum particles. Although we imagine an electron as a small ball, in fact, this simulation is not true. They are both like marbles and behave like waves. Now we've come to the most interesting part of the job. Scientists want to solve this interesting phenomenon. They're putting a sensor, a sensor in front of the slits. A device that makes a sound every time an electron passes through. And they repeat the experiment. This is the moment when the strangest thing in the world happened. After installing this sensor, they begin to throw electrons again. The experiment ends, and what do you think happens to what they see on our gray wall opposite? They see two lines. As it should be. The electrons sent piece by piece form two lines like balls. They turn off the sensor, repeat the experiment. Conclusion? Polyline, wave pattern. How so? Yes when you place a device, the electrons behave as they should, an observer said. If it's like they know they're being watched. It's like he's conscious. So what's the explanation? No does not yet exist. It's the strangest thing in the world, isn't it? There is much more to learn. There are many way to go. If you are interested in this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications and like the video.